Okay, today we finished our discussion of flat plate boundary layers and specifically um, focused on a few parameters that describe the flow. Uh, the first is the boundary layer height, which we define to be delta, which grows at, with position along our, our plate x, where x is the distance from the leading edge of the plate. Um, that delta of x leads to a particular expectation for how tau of x varies, and then the integration of tau of x leads to the definition of the shear force. And the shear force is simply the area integral of tau over the, uh, over the plate. We talked a lot about how the, um, these, different these, different, these three descriptions of the, of the interaction of the flow with the flat plate, delta, tau, and the total shear force, varies between laminar flow, turbulent flow, um, and then very high Reynolds number flow. Um, I think for the purpose of, of uh, a summary here, I'll focus on the total shear force, which is a friction coefficient times one-half rho u0 squared times the width times the length of our plate. And that friction coefficient, Cf, is a function of the plate Reynolds number, REL, where REL is u0L over nu. Um, the summary figure of this, which would uh, uh, appear in the text, uh, I believe it's figure 9.3, uh, 9.15, sorry, 9.15, is that REL versus CF has a particular behavior versus Reynolds number. So we have uh, a laminar region, a turbulent region, and a transitional region. The transition between laminar and turbulence occurs at an REL of about 500,000, a number that reappears a few different times in our, in our various analyses. We had similar formulations for the uh, um, shear stress. We said that we could write tau as a little friction, tau, tau, a little CF times one half rho u0 squared. Um, and we had different formulations for that CF um, and, and different values of Reynolds number. In that case, CF is a function of now REX, where we replace L with X in that formulation. Okay, I think the key things to remember out of all this material is how laminar flow transitions to turbulent flow, how turbulent boundary layers are formulated a little bit differently from laminar boundary layers, and then uh, finishing off with this summary statement that's contained in the... Uh, the figure that I've sketched here for how that friction coefficient varies with, uh, with the Reynolds number based on the, the length of the plate.